for checking out the channel. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn this doorway into an arched doorway. So for this one, we've got a two by four wall. Sometimes you've got two by six, it works for either. But what you want to do is measure your two by four. So this one's three and a half inches. I've ripped this one down less an inch. And the reason why I've done an inch is because I'm using half inch plywood. So I'm gonna have half inch plywood on the front, half inch plywood on the back. It'll all make sense in a minute, but you wanna rip this down less the thickness times two of your plywood or OSPD or whatever you decide to use. So this is gonna fit like this. I'm gonna put plywood on one and plywood on the other. So let's get this going. So this arch doorway is gonna be straight on the side and then it'll start to arch at the six foot three mark. So I'm gonna put my lumber to this point here and then we'll get the two sides in, in the top, and then I'll explain the plywood portion in a second. So, as you saw, I already ripped my piece. Make sure it's centered in the opening. So, when you pop it in, I forgot to mention too is you're going to want to strike a level line across one side to the next because your floor could be sagging here this doorway could have dropped or whatever it is so just strike a level line across so measure from here to there and i've got seven and a quarter by 32 and a quarter, and we'll cut some plywood. Grab some shorter screws. I got some two inch screws here. That'll be good. Just don't grab some like three and a half. It'll be too long. Well, unless you're two by six wall. Screw this guy in and uh, just tack him in for now. He's not going to stay here. So grab yourself an off cut of anything you've got. Two by four, strapping, plywood, whatever you want to use. Put it at, you know, whatever height you feel is right. But what I was doing here was Basically, you can use my measuring tape to create the arc. Now I'm kind of eyeballing it. I've got my mark here, and I've got my mark here, which will be the peak. And I'm trying to get an idea of where it's going to be. So it's probably right about my thigh, thigh height. So you yeah, can adjust this after. It just gives us somewhere to start. So find the middle of this piece of strapping. 16. Pop a little screw in there. Wait for my pencil. So I want to start here. Put my pencil on the tip here. Let's see where that ends up. Yep. If you want your arch to start at 75 inches up to give or take 83 and three quarters, 81 inches, and you get the width is 32, the distance from the floor to the screw head should be 53 and a half. 53 and a half gives you a nice arc, and I'll draw it out. Take this 
down, bring it through the jigsaw, and I'll show you part two. So I've got this leftover piece of two by, basically two by three. I'm gonna cut some small chunks, doesn't matter what length they are. I'm just gonna put them on either side. like now and we'll just pop it into place just to make sure there's at least an inch and a half up here so it doesn't interfere with the top plate same thing on this side this one's kind of close but it's pretty good it's a little, a little too close actually move that one over hopefully your plywood's better than mine mine's falling apart it doesn't really matter but all right slide this thing on screws. I guess it would have been a good idea if I cut this on a 45 ahead of time, but I'm just going to cut it with my oscillating tool. But uh, just put a bunch of screws in it, make sure it's nice and solid, and then you go into step two. here at the top and you're going to want to screw to something solid. I don't know if I really need it but I'm going to put it up anyway. So I've got a piece of half inch plywood. The gap here is just about a half inch. I'm just going to put right at the peak and screw it in. Of course I hit a screw. So I've rough cut some drywall to just below this corner here and to the width. And I'll just tack it up, trim it, and then I'll show you how to put this bottom piece on. So I have a roto zip. If you don't have a roto zip, you could use a keyhole saw. And you could probably use your jigsaw too, to be honest. But uh, just cut along that arch line and uh, just cut along that arch line. Next, you're gonna to wanna to measure the overall width. So I've got four and a half. I'll cut my drywall at four and a quarter. Try and get a rough measurement of how long it's going to be. Um, easier said than done. I've got 16 to here. And then 18 and a half to there. So 16, 32, 34, 35 and a half. So I would probably just do 35. It's probably lots. So I'll cut that. This is like another trade secret. I guess the second trade secret for this process, and this sponge is pretty wet. Like if I wrung it out, it would, it would drip. So you just want to wet the back side of the drywall, get it nice and damp, not soaking wet, but just keep it wet for a few seconds and bring it over and it'll bend right into place.
Well, we'll do the size and uh, then I'll show you what corner beam to use on this arch spot here too. And before you start mudding, don't forget, you should always throw some extra screws around the perimeter of the, of the existing drywall. So we got a little overhang here, that's not good. So just a little shot with the oscillating tool, clean it right up. There you have it. So we're ready for mud. Good to go. Again, screwed all over here. Screw this on. Good to go. All right, so now we're into the finishing process and you need a special corner bead to do these arch doorways. I'm not gonna go over how to do these corners. You just use regular corner beads. I'll tag another video um, when I get that one up, but you need this type of corner bead. So it's got notches on the one side and then it's solid on the other. And it, you know, it works like that. So you just wanna cut it to length and you basically want to put it right there. But what you want to do is there's all these little hairs and burrs and stuff in the way. Just grab a nice sharp Ulta knife and just clean it up. So now that you're ready to go, you just want to take your corner bead and some contact cement or some heavy duty spray adhesive and just give her a nice heavy coat and glue it on. So, go over this way. Give it a good shake. And it's almost like, it's almost like wiry. So, don't be shy. So just spray it on, on the bead, spray the corner, and you gotta let it tack up for a couple minutes. So just let it, uh, let it sit. That's it, now we wait. All right, so I've let this tack up a little bit and it's, it's pretty sticky on both sides. So what you wanna do is you wanna try to line up this corner with this one. And as well as when you put the first one on, make sure, like, my piece is pretty flat, which is very helpful. Um, if your piece was crooked, it would show, like, this is going to be your finished corner, right? So you don't want to set this hot side higher or lower than the other side. You want to keep them pretty, pretty similar in height. So the first thing you want to do is, you know, put the first one on, see where it falls. Hey man, it's, it grabs good. Take this off. There we go. That one on. And if you, well, I have to slide this side a little bit. There we go. There. Originally, this side, if you come over and look right here, this corner, come from this side over right here. If you look from this corner here, this edge was. It was too low. It, the corner was like right here before, and then you would have essentially a big hump here, which is not great. So I just slid him out. It's got to be this surface has to be beyond this surface, just a hair. So that's the first one. That's the easy one. So get, yeah, get the second one in, and you want to try to line them up with this corner here. So this corner here, flush with this guy, and also. 
squared up again. So this edge here, you don't want too far that way or too in inward. And it should be, it's pretty good there. It might have to come out just a hair. So we'll sneak him out while we can. There we go. That's probably where it's gonna live. So that way when the mud goes in, it can fill this cavity. So that corner is good. And we'll keep working it up. And it's too long. <laughs> Trim it a bit. Oh yeah, you just cut the stuff with a pair of tin snips. I don't think I mentioned that. You can probably cut it with an X-Acto knife too, but you'll have a better, better luck with the tin snips. Um, yeah, we'll just work that guy up, get him in, and you're all set. So you're pretty well ready for mud. Yeah, at this point, you just gotta, you've gotta put some drywall mesh on your seams, some corner beads here, and you wanna line those corner beads up with this corner here. So this, this corner bead will have to come out just a little bit, but by the time it's all said and done, it'll look like a nice, smooth, uniform arch. So, and it's gonna look like this. 